<laughs> oh, 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 sadly, this won't be happening this year. Hello, my name is Darcy Bryant. I am the board chair of Spirit of the North Healthcare Foundation. This year has been a challenging year, and we knew that coming into this holiday season, Festival Trees is our signature event that was gonna to have to be redone. We put together an amazing group of people with volunteers, our committee members for Festival Trees, our staff members and board members. They all sat down at the table, tried to come up with some new ways of putting on this event this year. So we came up with Festival Trees Reimagine. They did an awesome job. We had many different things that uh, came around the table. And the main reason why we're here is we're raising money to advance healthcare in the North. So this year, our signature item we're raising money for is a molecular lab at UHNBC. This lab will go a long ways to helping out doing testing in Prince George. We have an amazing set of sponsors that have put together trees for this event. And we're going to have a silent auction. And we hope that at the end of the day, our donors can come through for us as they always have in the past. I'd like to thank uh, CKPG for being one of our media sponsors. We, we really appreciate all that you do for Spirit of the North. We can't do this without our sponsors. We can't do this without our donors. So on behalf of the board of Spirit of the North, I'd like to thank all the volunteers, all the staff members, all the people that have been involved, our sponsors, and especially our donors. Thank you so much. Please be safe and have a safe and great holiday season. Thank you. Hi, I'm Judy Neiser, and I have the privilege of being the CEO for the Spirit of the North Healthcare Foundation. It gives me great pleasure to bring to you on behalf of our board of directors, our staff, our many, many volunteers in the Festival of Trees Committee, the 27th Annual Festival of Trees Reimagined. For 27 years, we opened the doors of the Civic Centre and hosted 17,000 square feet of what really truly was a winter wonderland. And unfortunately, that can't happen this year. But we've had many, many volunteers, a wonderful committee, the staff and the board of directors who have truly redesigned Festival of Trees for you this year. It's all in support of healthcare for the North it's all in support of a molecular diagnostic lab for you at NBC. So we invite you to take part in the activities. We hope you've had a chance to go around town and, and participate in the many things that are being held throughout the city. We're hosted today in the corner of the Marriott Hotel. Take a drive by, walk by. It's window shopping at its best. It's creativity like you've never seen before. Many trees, little trees, wreaths, so many things to bid on. Participate until 9 o'clock p.m. on Sunday, December 6th and one of these beautiful items could be yours. We couldn't do this without you. And we hope you take pride in supporting the 27th Annual Festival Trees Reimagined. Hopefully within a very short time, we will have a molecular diagnostic lab here at UHNBC to service the needs of our patients in the North. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful holiday season. Well, hello and welcome to the Festival of Trees holiday special on CKPG TV. Yep, it's Velma and Connor from 101.3 The River. Thank you so much for joining us for the next hour. Yeah, you get to hang out with us. We're gonna have a ton of fun today. You're gonna have a chance to win prizes. You're gonna get to see all the amazing trees who designed them this year, what's under the trees. And of course, you can bid on all these trees with their auction. Now, usually we'd be at the Civic Center for this event and uh, you'd be able to check out all the trees. But since we're being safe this year, we've reimagined everything. So you get to be safe at home you get to see all the trees and of course a chance to bid on all those awesome trees. Okay, and you can actually win stuff from the comfort of your house. The sofa spud contest going on right now. All you gotta do is take a selfie of you on your couch with us in the background, the holiday special posted on the Festival of Trees Facebook page with the hashtag safe at home. It's that simple. And you're entered to win some amazing prizes from Andres, Rocky Mountain Chocolate, Pacific Western Brewery, Panago, and these gorgeous chairs from RK Furniture. They're comfy. Purchase your tickets now for your chance to win 50-50 festival cash for the holidays. Sponsored by Canadian Tire Prince George. Draw date December 30th. Available online at festivaloftreespg.ca. And now on to our first tree, where Mrs. Claus shops, Vessel Packing. Yes, and it is designed by Lara Peterson and Jackie Clark, and you can actually view it at the Marriott. It's amazing what these designers can do with these trees. First of all, look at that star. I'm a fan of a nice star on top of a tree. That is absolutely stunning, and it goes beautifully with their gold and silver theme throughout the entire tree, even the gift wrapping. 
It's their second year doing a tree. One of the designers, Lara, has volunteered and worked with the festival since she was a little girl, helping her mom in the kids area and her little eight-year-old daughter helped also. Aww. Now, this tree, I don't know about you, but I've been waiting for a staycation opportunity, and this is the perfect tree that'll give you that. The Marriott Hotel will give you two nights stay if you get this tree. Uh, Jim's clothing, $400 GC. That's a lot of nice dress shirts. That's a lot of nice pants right there. Um, Sisters Rock and Gems, $200 gift card. That means that I'm going to buy a whole bunch of stuff for all of the people on my list. Birch and Boar, we actually went there for lunch the other day. It was delicious. We got ourselves a sandwich. You can get a $200 GC for there. Walk right shoes. Okay, you know you're gonna need some new boots this winter, so you might as well get them downtown from Walk Right Shoes. $200 GC from them. Vilma, you like ice cream, don't you? I love it. Frozen paddle, $200 GC. Do you think that they'll give me $200 worth of the peppermint spirit? Mm. Hmm. Dandelions, $200 gift card. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be perfect. My mom is gonna freak out cold juicery maybe you want to start you know getting some a little more healthy food into that body well you can get a hundred dollar gc thanks to cold juicery four hapa threads beanies oh we're gonna look so cute with those beanies there's also two kindness crate gift boxes those are really awesome because they have all the local stuff from around prince george so you could actually gift that or keep them for yourself yeah. and support local there's also the lavender and lace crafting stocking stuffer. I'm excited to get my hands on that. How about this? Two toboggans from Canadian Tire. You can go sledding. And Vessel Packing is giving you $200 worth of craft beer. Mmm. What you doing, Vilma? I'm trying to design my diamond from Michael's Jewelers. Yes, the design your own diamond prize package from Michael's Jewelers. You have a chance to win that, but you gotta make sure you grab yourself a ticket. They're $20 each. You can get them at Michael's Jewelers or you can get them online at festivaloftreespg.ca. I think it's gotta be bigger. Sunday at 5 p.m. Keep an eye on the beautiful skies of downtown Prince George for fireworks. Sponsored by our good friends at Canadian Tire Prince George. If we didn't have the donors, you know, helping us with stuff, then a lot of the equipment we wouldn't, we wouldn't have. Even in just a few years ago, you know, the very first piece of molecular testing equipment that was ever in the North was donated by Spirit of the North. And it turns out that uh, that particular piece of equipment that was donated by them a few years ago, that was the first way that we, uh, you know, got our foot in the door with testing for COVID. You know, it's a lot more sensitive than, you know, culture and microscopy. So you can have a, a very limited infection where a culture would probably miss or microscopy would probably miss. Not only does it make it very sensitive, you don't have to spend like a lot of time kind of, you know, identifying and characterizing because in addition to being very sensitive, it's also very specific. You know, it's pretty hard to make a mistake with that kind of testing as well, which is good. You know, a culture usually takes days, whereas, you know, with a molecular test like we do here, under an hour, and you can do you know, multiple tests at once. So, you know, it, it really is, you know, probably the best, the most accurate, the most specific, you know, rapid quality results, basically to all of the North that we haven't been able to do before. You know, just a few years ago, there was no capacity to do any of that testing at all. So usually that meant that every single, you know, test for the North was shipped down to the lower mainland and it would take days to get results back. And sometimes you really do need it, you know, within hours. You know, for a while there, we were having to pay for like a custom expensive charter flight to go around to all of the different sites. The typical healthcare dollars alone just don't give us what we need in terms of, you know, the most modern technology or the most uh, modern diagnostics or the best diagnostics. So, I mean, it's invaluable, you know, and it gives us excellent equipment that we definitely would not be able to get otherwise. It really does benefit the patients that need it the most, which is typically the, the young you know, children, the pediatric patients, and the patients that are 
you know, critically ill in the ICU. It also kind of helps us just support the other areas and, you know, similarly to like the more remote First Nations communities and stuff like that. So if we didn't have that quality of equipment, like we would basically, you know, not have any testing and we have those long turnaround times like we did earlier on and just not be able to provide the best, you know, testing that can be done. Basically, wherever there's a Northern Health patient, it, it is of benefit. Our next tree sounds like fun. Tidewater Midstream. This gorgeous tree was designed by Julie Fisher, Sue Chester, Laura Blocka, and Heather Millard. Tidewater, formerly Husky Oil, was thrilled to jump on board and provide the Festival of Trees with another stunning display. Okay, this tree is the perfect stay at home tree because there's something to do for the entire year. I see a lot of yard stuff. I see a lot of in home stuff and it's stunning. Well, it's called sounds like fun and well, it looks like fun as well. I love the Santa hat at the top of the tree. And it comes with an LG sound bar. Oh my gosh, my house is gonna sound so awesome. It's gonna be booming. How about this too? The Oculus Quest 2 virtual reality system. Uh, I know there's probably some kids and let's be honest, some adults that would want that as well. Oh, a singing machine? Can we have karaoke at the office? <laughs> well, how about do it on your brand new acoustic guitar? We're gonna be rocking. Okay, what about these? Apple AirPods, everybody wants those. This might be my favorite part of the tree is the Giant Connect 4. I can imagine being outside in the summer playing some Giant Connect 4 with all my friends. What about this giant wooden toppling towers? It's basically gonna be a giant tower and I hope I don't knock it over. <laughs> One of my favorite summer games is definitely Ladder Toss. This is a gorgeous metal Ladder Toss game set that you can take home. What about wooden Chinese checkers? That game is a classic. You definitely wanna teach your kids how to play that. And if you're bad at losing dice, how about a giant dice set? You'll never lose those. I'm dreaming of a white and red Christmas, Prince George Ford. Yeah, make sure you stop on by Prince George Ford on Central to check out this gorgeous tree. This tree is designed by Jess Callahan, Kathy O'Neill, Ashley S, Patrick Stewart, and Cynthia Parr. Prince George Ford is in their second year of providing beautiful tree displays at 1331 Central Street West. They have been longtime supporters of the Spirit of the North Healthcare Foundation and most recently have also provided a wonderful and much needed supply of face shields when COVID first occurred. This looks like the perfect tree to decorate an entire room in your house. It's plaid-tastic if you ask me and it definitely lives up to the name. I'm dreaming of a white and red Christmas. This tree comes with cozy pillows and red and white themed blankets and a beautiful gorgeous chair that'll go in any room. Match that up with the sofa table and an ottoman bench. Plus, one of my favorite types of shelves, a ladder shelf that will definitely add something to your living room. And if you like playing games, especially with the family, you can have game nights because they have assorted games that this comes with. And let's face it, you want to update that decor every now and then. It comes with a ton of Christmas decorations. Oh, Vilma, you're going to like this one. Two gift packs of wine. Ooh, you can't go wrong with some wine. Plus, they also threw in some local restaurant gift cards. And listen to this next one. A hundred dollars to Starbucks? <laughs> That's a lot of coffee right there. Also to Indigo, Netflix, Tim Hortons, and Save On. So you're getting so many GCs from this package. Just a reminder, if you are a successful bidder on a tree, all of these items get packaged up together and delivered directly to your door, so you don't have to do any of the work. Check out all the details, festivaloftreespg.ca. During the show, nominate a deserving senior to win a comfy chair donated by MetaChair Prince George. Just go to MetaChair Prince George's Facebook page, like the page, and list the name of your favorite senior, along with the hashtag safe at home. Check out my mask. I got one too. These are actually available to purchase for $10 and support Spear of the North Healthcare Foundation. Van Horlicks and Frozen Paddle is where you want to go. Make sure you're safe this holiday season. Oh, hello, boys and girls. Santa's just checking his nice list. A lot of you are wondering, how do you get on the nice list? Well, I'd like to give you some ideas. One, be good. That sounds like it's easy, but sometimes you gotta try especially hard to be good. Be kind. 
Be kind to the people around you. Be kind to your classmates. Be nice to your brothers and sisters. That may be hard sometimes, but if you be nice to your brothers and sisters, you will absolutely make it to the nice list. And don't forget to help your mom and dad too, because moms and dads need help, and any help you can give them would absolutely put you on the nice list. Listen to your teachers as well. When you're in the classroom, it's important to pay attention to what's going on. Listen to your teachers puts you on the nice list as well. Play fair. This is an important one because it means that you're getting exercise, that you're going outside and you're playing. And make sure no matter what game you're choosing to play, that you play fair. Now, when you're playing your games, no matter what, always play safe. If you're supposed to wear a helmet, wear a helmet. If you're supposed to wear pads, wear the pads. All of these ideas are the ways in which you can get onto Santa's good list. Now, it's time for me to check my list again because you know, Santa always checks his list twice, okay? So I wanna wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Thank you for coming to see Santa. You be good and be kind. And we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye now. And the next tree, hey, it's our tree, the Candyland tree. Yes, with Jim Pattison Broadcast Group and it's designed by our promotions director, Connor Hutchinson. And it actually looks pretty darn good. Wait, Connor designed this? Connor designed this one. I'm impressed. As a media partner with the Festival of Trees, the Jim Pattison Broadcast Group decided to make a Candyland tree this year. It is so beautiful and it looks so yummy. Could I say that? Is that weird? Either way, um, there's a gorgeous just pink color that goes throughout the entire tree. And well, let's talk about the candy. Ooh, baby. There's donuts. I love donuts. Mmm, donuts. And is that ice cream I see? I'm seeing a lot of ice cream throughout this tree. And I like how the mesh that goes around, the pink mesh is actually supposed to represent cotton candy. Ah, uh, that actually makes a ton of sense. Did we mention all the candy it comes with? Okay, I see candy canes, Ferrero Rocher's, Twizzlers. <gasps> I even see some cookies. So anyone with a sweet tooth, this is definitely the tree for you to bid on. Okay, if I win this tree, I don't have to share the candy, do I? Ah, you make the rules. Okay, but aside from that, it also comes with some amazing gift cards, like $100 to Mr. Mike's. Mmm, delicious. Get yourself a Mike burger. And not to mention, oh, this is gonna be perfect for date night. $100 towards Twisted Cork. Uh, Vilma, what are you doing? getting ready for the sofa sweat contest. Right, take a selfie of yourself watching the program right now and use the hashtag safe at home. Then you go post that photo to the Facebook page of the Festival of Trees for a chance to win a really cool prize package. And done. Okay, wait, can I win this? No, but you can. Thank you to our Sofa Spud contest sponsors, RK Furniture, Panago Pizza, Pacific Western Brewing, Andre's Electronics, Rocky Mountain Chocolate, and IDL Projects. Sunday at 5 p.m., keep an eye on the beautiful skies of downtown Prince George for fireworks, sponsored by our good friends at Canadian Tire Prince George. Our next tree is No Place Like Gnome, Northern Lights Estate Winery. It's designed by Danny Rudd and Aaron Pearson, and you can go check it out over at the winery. The Northern Lights Estate Winery is sharing their beautiful and sparkle wrap in this tree meant to gnome your heart. Get it? Gnome your heart? Ah, I get it now. And if you look close enough on the tree, there's actually little gnomes hidden all over the place. It's really cool. Okay, this tree spreads out, I think, throughout your entire living room. Silver, white, reds all throughout. And the star on the top, again, I'm a big fan of a good star. I like this one a lot. The white is really going to make everything pop, especially if you got some color in your living room. And this tree comes with so much stuff. One return flight PG to Victoria with Pacific Coastal Airlines. Lush pillows and blankets from Theory Hardware, as well as a white fur blanket from Winners. And we mentioned the gnomes earlier. Those are all from Yellow Door Decor. Northern BC Adventure Book from Books and Company. How about a painted fire chalkboard? I think we all need one of those. It was donated by North Soul Studios. A gift pack from Blissful Bubbles Boutique. Ah, oh, perfect for relaxing. A Northern Spirit gift pack from Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. That is delicious. 
Plus, one of the designers, Denny Rudd, actually came up with the white fireplace mantle. And this tree includes a staycation for two and custom tour from Adventure Bus. Maybe you want to get away from the kids for a night. There is a honeymoon suite stay at the Best Western Plus. And Northern Lights Estate Winery even threw in a Plowman tasting table for four people. Plus, two cases of Northern Lights Estate Winery wine. What's your favorite wine from there, Vilma? Oh, you know what? It's cranberry, because it's cranberry season right now. Now, if you want to stay in or go out, they have a one-month color club with Watts Art Academy and a four-day pass to Powder King. One one-year adult climbing pass and one-month youth pass at Overhang. Oh, I'm going to be so fit. <laughs> Two nights accommodation at the gorgeous Marriott PG, plus five class pass and tank top at Sunset Studios. Custom 5 Mountain Wood Shelf. Oh, these are so stylish and so cool looking. I want one in every room. West Coasters Wood actually came up and donated that. Plus, there's going to be a wine cup from Wheelhouse Studios. Thanks to the makery in downtown Prince George, you can do a gnome project for four with drink and treat. Oh, that's where the gnomes came from. That makes a lot of sense. Two adult trail pass at Otway and two wine kids from Hobby Brews. Another gorgeous addition thanks to designer Denny Rudd. That's a rustic window. Six bowling and mini golf passes for five people at Strike Zone. Fun for the entire family. Plus a group escape pass at Exit PG. And last but not least on this huge tree with so much to offer, a tree box from Theory Hardware. During the show, nominate a deserving senior to win a comfy chair donated by MetaChair Prince George. Just go to MetaChair Prince George's Facebook page, like the page, and list the name of your favorite senior, along with the hashtag Safe at Home. And don't forget, bid on these trees. This is all going towards a great cause, the Spirit of the North Healthcare Foundation. Festivaloftreespg.ca is the place to go. Good luck. Right now, enter the Sofa Spud contest for a chance to win an awesome prize package. Just take a selfie at home with a Festival of Trees holiday special on CKPG TV in the background. Then post your selfie to the Festival of Trees Facebook page for your chance to win. Our next tree is Glitter and Glam by Michaels Jewelers. And it's designed by Taylor, Dallas, and Karen Tobin. And this is actually their first year doing a tree, but they are definitely no stranger to festival. 27 years of supporting through the diamond draw. Speaking of which, Michaels Jewelers actually gives you a chance to design your own diamond. It's worth $10,000. Tickets only $20 and you can get them at Michaels Jewelers or online at festivaloftreespg.ca. And just look at how gorgeous this tree is. You know when a tree is designed by a family of jewelers, it is gonna be blinged out. Ooh, I see the bling and it is sparkly. Definitely living up to the glitter and glam name. Speaking of which, if you wanna glam yourself up, this tree is the perfect one to do so. $200 gift card to the Colorist Hair Studio donated by Emily Olson. And you're definitely gonna be blinged out and glammed with everything under this tree. A $500 GC for Bijou Burks, a Michaels Jewelers Pando Sterling Silver and Cubic Zirconia Set Sliding Pave Heart Class Bracelet with five charms valued at $565. A Pandora Sterling Silver Cubic Zirconia Set, Chandelier Earrings, $165. So get all glittered and glammed up thanks to Michaels Jewelers. From head to toe. Purchase your tickets now for your chance to win 50-50 festival cash for the holidays. Sponsored by Canadian Tire Prince George. Draw date December 30th. Available online at festivaloftreespg.ca. And don't forget to be a part of the Sofa Spud contest. Use the hashtag safe at home and post it on the Festival of Trees Facebook page. Yeah, we have an amazing prize that includes great prizes from our awesome sponsors. Pacific Western Brewery, you get a flat of beer every single month for one full year. Plus, you get a pizza a month from Panago for the entire year. You get an awesome gift basket from Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. And you get headphones in the case from Andres, electronic expert. And these amazing chairs from RK Furniture. Oh, oh, hello boys and girls. Thank you for coming to see me. Santa's just been reading letters 
from all over Northern British Columbia that I've received recently. And I want to remind you all to please write Santa a letter so that I can know what your wishes are, your special wishes are for Christmas. Now, in all these letters, I get a lot of questions. Now, I have selected the questions that are asked the most. I've got five questions here that I'd like to answer for you. First question is from a little boy in Northern British Columbia. It says, what do reindeers do? Well, basically reindeers, they like to play. They play reindeer games all day long, and reindeers also love to eat. Their favorite food? Carrots. Now they eat more and more as we get closer to Christmas Eve because they need all their strength when we travel around the world for delivering your presents. Another question that I've got from a little girl that says, does Santa have a favorite toy? Well, if I think about it, no, I don't have a favorite toy. Santa loves all of his toys. It doesn't matter what type of toy it is, I love them all. And another letter I got from Northern British Columbia says, how do you watch everyone around the world and make sure they're being good? Well, I'll tell you a secret. Santa has a magic telescope. So when I look through this telescope, I'm able to tell when I'm looking at any child whether they're being naughty or nice. And that's how I do that. Another question that I received was, what's your favorite food? <laughs> well, I think you might guess Santa's favorite food. It's cookies. Cookies and milk is what Santa loves to eat the most. And don't forget on Christmas Eve, if you're gonna leave any treats out for Santa, leave out a couple carrots for the reindeer too, okay? And the last question is probably the most popular question of all. How does Santa get around the world in one night? <laughs> well, let me tell you. I'm gonna show you the secret. This is Santa's magic watch. Santa's watch only works on Christmas Eve. All I do is I turn the little knob at the top and I'm able to stop time. And I do all my deliveries in one night and on Christmas morning, I turn the watch the other way again and time starts up and we continue along and all of a sudden it's Christmas morning. So that's the secret for how I get around the world in one night. Now Mrs. Claus is calling me for supper so please don't tell her that I've been eating cookies today, okay? I don't want to ruin my dinner. And remember, write Santa a letter, let me know what your wishes are, and I'll see what I can do, okay? Now you be good boys and girls, and thank you again for coming to see me. Have a very Merry Christmas, and we'll see you again soon, okay? Bye-bye now. Right now, enter the Sofa Spud contest for a chance to win an awesome prize package. Just take a selfie at home with a Festival of Trees holiday special on CKPG TV in the background. Then post your selfie to the Festival of Trees Facebook page for your chance to win. Don't forget, all of these trees available for bids and the best part is, they get delivered right to your door. Yeah, so if you're the winning bidder, it all gets packed up and delivered directly to you. FestivalOfTreesPG.ca Sunday at 5 p.m. Keep an eye on the beautiful skies of downtown Prince George for fireworks. Sponsored by our good friends at Canadian Tire Prince George. Our next tree is a snowman's paradise from McDonald's. And it's designed by Megan Simmons and it's available for viewing at the Massey location. It's their second year doing a tree. This year is a snowman theme and all things to play outside also host. This tree, not only a snowman's paradise, but also a hockey player's paradise. This comes equipped with so many different things and the little ones are gonna love it. So if you check it out at the Massey location, you could be like, mm, I'll get a Big Mac and a snowman's paradise tree. And Vilma, you know, I'm a big fan of the star on top. Oh, <gasps> it's a snowman. <laughs> this tree comes with so much, including two Hart Ski Hill family memberships. A large wooden Costco snowman, one snowman lantern, two big head snowmen. There's just so many snowmen on this. I mean, it's a snowman's paradise. Of course, Cotter. Kids snow toys, McDonald's toque, scarves and mittens, McCafe basket. Plus five McDonald character Funko Pop toys. Cotter, your wife's gonna love this. Two Yeti tumblers. We have so many Yetis. They're like one of our favorite products. You also get one set of tub snowshoes, one set of Atlas snowshoes and snow poles. Columbia winter jacket, McKinley winter jacket, and oh, here's the hockey fans. Hockey sticks and pucks from Sherwood Hockey. 
And of course, if you have the pucks and the sticks, you're going to need a Sherwood hockey net as well. $55 in credit for Fortnite and two Marmot backpacks, socks, mittens, and toques. How about this? A $750 GC to Canadian Tire. And if that's not enough sports, $150 to Sport Check. 15 bucks to grab some coffee at Starbucks, $100 for McDonald's, and $100 GC to Boston Pizza. So, a little athletic, a little sporty, and a bit foodie. Don't forget, Sofa Spud Contest going on right now. All you gotta do, use the hashtag safe at home and post your selfie on the Festival of Trees Facebook page. We have a $3,500 prize pack to give away, so make sure you do it. Did you do it? What are you waiting for? If we didn't have the donors, you know, helping us with stuff, then a lot of the equipment we wouldn't, we wouldn't have. Even in just a few years ago, you know, the very first piece of molecular testing equipment that was ever in the North was donated by Spirit of the North. And it turns out that uh, that particular piece of equipment that was donated by them a few years ago, that was the first way that we, uh, you know, got our foot in the door with testing for COVID. You know, it's a lot more sensitive than, you know, culture and microscopy. So you can have a, a very limited infection where a culture would probably miss or a microscopy would probably miss. Not only does it make it very sensitive, you don't have to spend like a lot of time kind of, you know, identifying and characterizing because in addition to being very sensitive, it's also very specific. You know, it's pretty hard to make a mistake with that kind of testing as well, which is good. You know, a culture usually takes days, whereas, you know, with a molecular test like we do here, under an hour, and you can do you know, multiple tests at once. So, you know, it, it really is, you know, probably the best, the most accurate, the most specific, you know, rapid quality results, basically to all of the North that we haven't been able to do before. You know, just a few years ago, there was no capacity to do any of that testing at all. So usually that meant that every single, you know, test for the North was shipped down to the lower mainland and it would take days to get results back. And sometimes you really do need it, you know, within hours. You know, for a while there, we were having to pay for like a custom expensive charter flight to go around to all of the different sites. The typical healthcare dollars alone just don't give us what we need in terms of, you know, the most modern technology or the most uh, modern diagnostics or the best diagnostics. So, I mean, it's invaluable, you know, and it gives us excellent equipment that we definitely would not be able to get otherwise. It really does benefit the patients that need it the most, which is typically the, the young you know, children, the pediatric patients, and the patients that are you know, critically ill in the ICU. It also kind of helps us just support the other areas and you know, similarly to like the more remote First Nations communities and stuff like that. So if we didn't have that quality of equipment, like we would basically, you know, not have any testing and we have those long turnaround times like we did earlier on and just not be able to provide the best, you know, testing that can be done. Basically, wherever there's a Northern Health patient, it, it is of benefit. Our next tree, Cozy Christmas by Levitt Machinery. And it's designed by Crystal Dean. This is the third year in a row that Levitt has put a tree into the festival and they love supporting the cause. This tree is perfect for the storyteller in the family. Oh my goodness, not only by design, but also because it comes with so many great stories. If you look closely at the tree too, they actually have really neat sweater decorations throughout the whole tree. I'm a big fan of stars and this star is just a very classic one at the top. There's so many things on this tree. It kind of reminds me of the 12 nights of Christmas. Ooh, should we sing? <gasps> Let's try. Two side tables. One wooden sleigh. One electric fireplace. One toboggan. Two hockey, hockey sticks. sticks. Cozy throw in pillows. Candles, Christmas decor. Giant candy canes. And a book of Christmas stories. Oh, okay. Uh, Judy says we should just stick to our day jobs. Probably a good idea. 
During the show, nominate a deserving senior to win a comfy chair donated by MediChair Prince George. Just go to MediChair Prince George's Facebook page, like the page, and list the name of your favorite senior, along with the hashtag Safe at Home. Right now, you can purchase tickets for your chance to win the $10,000 Michaels Jewelers Design Your Own Diamond Prize. Tickets available at Michaels Jewelers and at festivaloftreespg.ca. And don't forget about the 50-50 Festival Cash for the Holidays. Yeah, it's brought to you by Canadian Tire. Tickets are only $25 each, and you can grab them at festivaloftreespg.ca. Chance to win that 50-50 prize. A Nightmare Before Christmas, Judy Russell Enchimont Dance Center, Russell AV, Judy Russell presents, and Nikki Kamansek Hair. This gorgeous tree is designed by Nicole Russell, Heather, Kate, and Sarah McGowan. Judy Russell is a longtime supporter and has shared an entertaining tree for many years. In a normal year, she'd also be providing the dancing entertainment. This tree actually gives you $100 towards classes at Enchimont Dance Center. And if you want to get your hair done, how about a $100 GC towards services at Nicole Kamensek Hair? Plus, ladies, listen up. A GC for dermaplaning glow-up facial or lash and lift tint from Posh Beauty Co. A GC for supreme pedicure with gel or one hour full body massage. Talk about total relaxation. Plus, they got some stuff for the little ones. A child's purple tutu. Child's dance backpack filled with dress-up items. And of course, going with the theme, the Nightmare Before Christmas DVD and blanket. Whoa, plus they also have a wireless four speaker system with a disco light. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And for the chocolate lover, a Godiva chocolate gift basket. Oh, yum. Cotter, I know you love the top of the tree, so check this out. This actually has Jack and Sally from the Nightmare Before Christmas. Kind of goes with the theme. Just like the rest of the tree, there's pumpkins in there. We have skeletons, also some sleds for Christmas. This tree is for the true A Nightmare Before Christmas fan. Festival of Trees has raised over $4.5 million over the years, but of course, we can't do that without your generosity. Festivaloftreespg.ca to see all the trees and to place your bid. Right now, enter the Sofa Spud contest for a chance to win an awesome prize package. Just take a selfie at home with the Festival of Trees holiday special on CKPG TV in the background. Then post your selfie to the Festival of Trees Facebook page for your chance to win. And just a friendly reminder that all these trees, if you are the winning bidder, get shipped directly to your house. You don't have to worry about organizing or clean up. It just gets dropped off at your door. With everything on the tree, it's so perfect. And don't forget, if you do want to bid and check them out, festivaloftreespg.ca. Oh, hello, boys and girls. Thank you for coming to visit me. I was just about to read Santa's favorite Christmas story. Why don't you pull up a pillow or a chair and I'll read this story to you, okay? It's called The Night Before Christmas by Clement C. Moore. It's a very old story. As a matter of fact, it's over 100 years old, which is a lot older than some of your grandmas and grandpas. So let's begin. There I am. A Night Before Christmas by Clement C. Moore. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds with visions of sugar plums dancing in their heads. Do you know what a sugar plum is? A sugar plum is candy. So the children are dreaming about candy, canes and cookies and all good things. And mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just laid down for our long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to the objects below. 
when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Ah, oh, Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blissen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before their wild hurricanes fly, when they meet with the obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas, me too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nick came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot. His clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his sack. So there's Santa coming out of the chimney. His eyes, how they twinkle. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses and his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work. He filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk. And laying his finger on the side of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh and to his team gave a whistle. And away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim when he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. And that is the story of the night before Christmas. I want to thank you boys and girls for joining me. I really had fun reading it to you. Now I need to get back to work. Santa's got a lot of work to do. I've got to go back to the check on the reindeer and check on the elves in the toy shop. So I want you to be good. Listen to your moms and dads. You all have a very Merry Christmas, okay? And we'll see you again soon. Right now, enter the Sofa Spud contest for a chance to win an awesome prize package. Just take a selfie at home with a Festival of Trees holiday special on CKPG TV in the background. Then post your selfie to the Festival of Trees Facebook page for your chance to win. Next Street, pet friendly. Coast Prince George Hotel by Appa. The really cool part about this is, well, the Coast Prince George is very pet friendly and so is this tree. Coast Hotel is always on board for doing a tree and has been for many years. They also, well, they love pets. This is a gorgeous tree with lots of traditional Christmas colors, the reds, the greens, the golds, but not very traditional. How about this? They have dog treats inside the tree. Not to mention adorable dog ornaments. And oh my goodness, I know you love the tree top. This one is just a Santa hat, but one that Carol Baskin would love. You're gonna love this tree and your pet's definitely gonna love this tree as well. This tree actually comes with a dog basket. So if you have a little furry friend at home, they're gonna love it. But maybe you don't have a dog. Well, there's a cat basket as well. Plus a Bosley's gift basket. So, you know, it's perfect for your furry friend and yourself. Next tree is the Tree of Hope, Sonia Redden. Healing Rivers Physiotherapy. This is a special tree because it's actually the charity tree this year. What does that mean? Well, each year the Spirit of the North Healthcare Foundation chooses one tree to be the charitable tree. This year, proceeds from the Tree of Hope will go to the Lymphedema Fund. 
held with the Spirit of the North Healthcare Foundation. And it's gorgeously designed by BC Lymphedema Association, PG Lymphedema Social Group and Friends. Sandy Fouchier, Paula Foley, Mary McMillan, Nancy Marcellet, and Lila Reynolds. This tree is absolutely stunning and displayed at Petula Burning. So you can grab some pizza and check out the tree. There's a gorgeous bench I see that is right next to it that actually comes with it. So the best part, it gets delivered right to your door. You don't even have to worry about packing it. All you got to worry about is where you're going to put it. And having the highest bid. By the way, festivaloftreespg.ca is where you want to go for that. This tree has so much to offer. We'll start it off with a $100 gift card to the keg. Mary Kay Complete Face and Body Care Set, including two hand sanitizers. Make that sound system bump with an RCA Bluetooth soundbar with subwoofer. Theory Hardware Hall Bench. Ooh, the bench I was talking about. Cushion and fleece throw and quilted Christmas wall hanging. A basket of hair salon products, including a coil curling iron. Decorative sleigh with two bottles of Henkel champagne and six champagne flutes. An outdoor decorative lantern. Instant Pot 6-quart, six 6-in-1 six multi-use electric pressure cooker. A Keurig K-Compact single-serve coffee maker with a case of coffee pods. For your sweet tooth, a Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory Northern Spirit Pack. And for all you wine drinkers out there, two bottles of Jackson Triggs wine. Which you'll be able to pour into your set of four nautical wine glasses. And not to mention one bottle of ice wine. Decorative sleigh basket filled with holiday treats and snacks. A fizzy icy blue sparkling water maker kit by SodaStream with two syrup flavors. And if you feel like heading outside, the Coleman camper stove with three-way windshield and two propane bottles. Thomas Racing eight-figure set and mat. Whew, that's so much. During the show, nominate a deserving senior to win a comfy chair donated by MetaChair Prince George. Just go to MetaChair Prince George's Facebook page, like the page, and list the name of your favorite senior, along with the hashtag Safe at Home. If we didn't have the donors, you know, helping us with stuff, then a lot of the equipment we wouldn't, we wouldn't have. Even in just a few years ago, you know, the very first piece of molecular testing equipment that was ever in the North was donated by Spirit of the North. And it turns out that uh, that particular piece of equipment that was donated by them a few years ago, that was the first way that we, uh, you know, got our foot in the door with testing for COVID. You know, it's a lot more sensitive than, you know, culture and microscopy. So you can have a, a very limited infection where a culture would probably miss or a microscopy would probably miss. Not only does it make it very sensitive, you don't have to spend like a lot of time kind of, you know, identifying and characterizing because in addition to being very sensitive, it's also very specific. You know, it's pretty hard to make a mistake with that kind of testing as well, which is good. You know, a culture usually takes days, whereas, you know, with a molecular test like we do here, under an hour, and you can do you know, multiple tests at once. So, you know, it, it really is, you know, probably the best, the most accurate, the most specific, you know, rapid quality results, basically to all of the North that we haven't been able to do before. You know, just a few years ago, there was no capacity to do any of that testing at all. So usually that meant that every single, you know, test for the North was shipped down to the lower mainland and it would take days to get results back. And sometimes you really do need it, you know, within hours. You know, for a while there, we were having to pay for like a custom expensive charter flight to go around to all of the different sites. The typical healthcare dollars alone just don't give us what we need in terms of, you know, the most modern technology or the most uh, modern diagnostics or the best diagnostics. So, I mean, it's invaluable, you know, and it gives us excellent equipment that we definitely would not be able to get otherwise. It really does benefit the patients that need it the most, which is typically the, the young you know, children, the pediatric patients, 
and the patients that are you know critically ill in the ICU. It also kind of helps us just support the other areas and you know similarly to like the more remote First Nations communities and stuff like that. So if we didn't have that quality of equipment like we would basically you know not have any testing and we have those long turnaround times like we did earlier on and just not be able to provide the best you know testing that can be done. Basically wherever there's a northern health patient it, it is of benefit. Hi I'm Lynn Hall Mayor of Prince George and we're standing in front of City Hall. Congratulations to the Spirit of the North Healthcare Foundation on presenting their 27th annual Festival of Trees. 2020 has been a challenging year and we have all been required to reimagine many of our plans and find new ways to honour our traditions. I'm delighted that the festival team has been able to bring the event to our community this year. Festival of Trees is a great kickoff to the holiday season and an important fundraiser that enhances health care delivery in our community. I hope that you will take part in the reimagining festivities and support the good work that the Spirit of the North does in our city. Merry Christmas, everyone. And our last tree, probably one of the most important ones, is Bee's Tree from the Spirit of the North Healthcare Foundation. Which is set up at Spruce Credit Union on the Hart Highway. Now this iconic tree has been warming up hearts at the Festival of Trees for many, many years. Now, if you don't know the story behind it. The twist is that the tree goes to the highest bidder for the holiday season, but must be returned after Christmas to be auctioned off again next year. This special little tree was purchased by PG legend B. Dizelle way back in the 1950s and was used to celebrate Christmas with the brownie packs in PG. After the brownies, the tree was used, then sold in a garage sale and purchased by Shirley Gratton. The tree then resurfaced at a garage sale and her daughter Shirley Jean Sadowick decided that the tree had a history that required preserving. It's unique, tiny, and radiant, just like Bee herself. And the winning bidder receives a charitable receipt for the full amount and a copy of Bee's cookbook. Now this cookbook isn't even available in stores, but has been generously donated by the family and features amazing Bee's recipes. So when you're getting Bee's tree, you're actually getting a piece of history. If you want to bid on all the trees that you've seen today, one place to go, festivaloftreespg.ca. Bidding does close Sunday at 9 p.m. If that wasn't enough trees, though, they have the little trees, the wreaths, the houses, all at 9th and Brunswick. You could do your window shopping there. It's pretty cool. And don't forget, Sunday, 5 p.m., presented by Canadian Tire. Just look downtown for the spectacular fireworks. Thank you so much for joining us for the past hour, but that's all the trees we got. But it wouldn't be complete without a visit from the big man himself. But first, here's Tom and Nada Newell of Copark here in Prince George with their little red truck. Last year during the Festival of Trees, after buying five trees from the gala auction, Tom was enamored with the theme of the little red truck. He set out to find a 48 Ford. He comments that it had to be a 48 because that was the year he was born. He was successful in finding one, but it was all the way across the country in Nova Scotia. It was perfect. In his words, it just needed some finishing touches. So wheels and rims brought over from Europe, a sound system, and of course, a tree. Lights and all the trimmings. This little gem is just what he wanted it to be. You'll see him and Nada driving through the streets this Christmas, bringing a smile to everyone who sees it. Thank you, Tom and Nada, for being such a big part of Festival of the Trees 2020 Reimagined. And here he is, the big man himself. Driving his sleigh powered by Northland Dodge. So happy holidays to everyone from the Spirit of the North Healthcare Foundation Festival of Trees and us. 
Delane Cotter. Thank you to our North Pole sponsors, Canadian Tire Prince George, Northland Dodge, Michaels Jewelers, and RBC and RBC Wealth Management. A special thank you from the Festival of Trees to all our Santa's helpers. Happy Holidays. An extra big thank you to the Festival of Trees signature sponsors. Thank you for your support. Thank you to all our media sponsors from the Jim Pattison Broadcast Group, 101.3 The River, 99.3 The Drive, and CKPG. Santa's ride for the Festival of Trees holiday special is powered by Northland Dodge. Sunday at 5 p.m., keep an eye on the beautiful skies of downtown Prince George for fireworks. Sponsored by our good friends at Canadian Tire Prince George. 